Hands down, best feeling in the Irony of ironies. Mark Foley could find himself prosecuted under the very law he helped write. It's called the Adam Walsh Child Protection Act. That's Foley in the blue tie and gray suit, shaking President Bush's hand when the bill was signed in July. I hope today's bill is a pedophile's worst nightmare. Among other things, the new law makes it harder for sexual predators to reach out to children on the Internet, just what Foley is suspected of doing in a series of sexually explicit email exchanges with teenage congressional pages. Congressman Foley, um, I would say, you know, was the winner in knowing the most pages and knowing them on a first-name basis. Blake Yoakum was a page in 2003. He says at the time, he wrote off Foley's interest in him and his young colleagues as overly friendly, but it's much creepier in retrospect. A few of my close friends who were pages, you know, suspected that Congressman Foley was homosexual, but not necessarily, we know, you know, we never sus suspected pedophilia out of Congressman Foley. Of course, Foley hasn't been charged with anything. That may depend on whether he actually tried to meet up with the teens he was emailing. But today, Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez commented that the emails were, quote, pretty awful and disturbing. Foley was so interested in the PAGE program, he once praised them in a tearful speech on the House floor as their time in Washington ended. Here, he's speaking of a contest where the PAGES bid for the privilege of lunch with him. I said, where do you want to go? He says without reservation. Morton's. And so we proceeded to cruise down to my BMW to Morton's and all of this story is meant to make you all feel jealous that you weren't the high bidders. Melanie Sloan, who heads a liberal watchdog group in Washington, the Center for Responsibility and Ethics, says there were warning signs galore about Foley's conduct. Last July, her group sent some of the overly friendly emails to the FBI, but she says no action followed. I would have grabbed Foley's computer right away and started examining it. The FBI may not have seen it, but some 16-year-old sensed Foley was crossing a line that other congressmen didn't. I had um, a friend Matt and a friend Tim, and he would always see them first, and he would be like, hi, Maddie, hi, Timmy, and we used to be like, that's pretty funny of him to say that, you know, that's kind of weird. This isn't the first time there's been a page scandal on Capitol Hill. In 1983, two members of Congress were censured for having illicit sexual affairs with young pages. And Cheryl, I remember those scandals back in the early 80s, and after that, they got much stricter, more stricter with their stricter with the page program, right? They did, Katie. They had a system now of supervised dorms and curfews. And interestingly, the pages tell us they are all warned not to give their email addresses or their screen names to any member of Congress. Obviously, some of them still do. All right, Cheryl, thank you.